today's topic is about confession. But how do you know it's like a date date or like just hang out sesh? I immediately just went up to him and say, do you have a girlfriend? I will always open the door so she can go in first and I see whether she sit. Huh? When should you confess to your crush? Or how? This is your daily catch-up. Okay, Valentine's Day is around the corner. Love is indeed. Yeah. Or maybe it just passed Valentine's Day. I don't know. The upload schedule is a bit messy right now. So today we are going to talk about something that's related to love. Ooh. Love. love. Alison loves love. I do. We've, today's topic is about confessions. You know, oh, this by is Usher. Confession. Sorry, daddy, I have sinned. <laughs> my confessions. Which huh? daddy? <laughs> you know that that is not confessions one. That's confession part yeah, two. Yeah, I love mm. part two. Yeah. So in case you're like Usher and you don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Today's episode is for you. <laughs> so we're going to talk about how to confess to your crush. Okay? Okay. I'm pretty sure everybody here got some experiences, dating, whatever. If not, just quote from your friends, like whatever the fuck. Like when we're 14 years um, old. Okay, so we are going to cre- curate Cue. and develop the ultimate guide to confessing to your crush. Okay, Let's go. Episode. No more yeah. lonely Valentine's Let's Day. Let's do this. Let's yeah. do this. Christmas, sure, fire. birthdays, New Year's. Correct. Yeah, no so today fail. on the panel, we have Alison, Shemaine, Denise, Daniel, yeah. and myself. Welcome. The, Did you forget my name? The more better John. <laughs> nice. Oh. More better. More better than John. Okay. First of all, have any of you ever had to confess to somebody before? Yes. Mm, yes. No. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. yes, no, yes, no. You? No! <laughs> no! Heartbreaker! Heartbreaker! What was the thing alternate? So the girls all come to you, uh? huh? I mean, some wait, of the girls come to you. I mean, all two of them. <laughs> wait, really? Yeah, really? Yeah. You're all conf- Wait, who never confessed before again? You both never confessed before. So correct, lah. Three people. Then you are the weird one, right? <laughs> you all have to confess. Wait, okay, okay. As in what constitutes a confession? Okay, very good. Confession okay, definition. Okay. He clearly saw the notes already. So, what exactly is a confession? No, I anybody, like anybody showing, want to expressing your feelings. No, does it have person? to be an exact, I like you, or does it have to mm. be the methods in which you've taken to make a person know that you like them? Yeah, What's I was going to say, that, some oh. relationships, right, I yeah. let them to, I give them opportunity to confess to me. I built that environment, you know? Like, hey, also, I you're a manipulator, lah. I helping them to no, confess. No, she opened the door. <laughs> I teaching them. No, I think it's the moment, right, that you say y'all don't know that y'all are interested. Mm. Yeah. But then it's the moment where you say, hey, I like you and I want to explore. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be the moment y'all get together. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's, the, it's the thing that you said that just changed everything, the nature and dynamic of your relationship, mm, yeah. your friendship. The part yeah. where you ruin the friendship. Okay, <laughs> so, so, so a confession is when you establish mm. your interest in pursuing something yep. with mm. the other person. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yes. okay. But you are not, it, but it's not a get together. No, no, no. It's Doesn't just have I'm to be. interested. Doesn't have Correct. to be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So at which point should we then confess? You're like flirt, flirt already. After you think that you might like each other and then you know that you want to like get into something slightly more serious. Then you set the expectation via confession. So for you, mm. is that a first date type of thing? Is that a third date type of thing? Huh, that's a pre-first date kind of thing. Huh. Why would you go on a date with someone that didn't express this con- uh, no. list liking? Interesting, okay. No, <laughs> it's depends. good, it's good. Because yeah, it's important. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, need yeah, to yeah. understand <laughs> what when the timing plays into this, right? Mm. So your nose and it says timing. Oh, yeah. timing She's playing the game where like, can you say this word without anyone realizing? <laughs> when? Yeah, so when? No, I don't know when. I also want to know the answer because right, I've never been the confessor before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I always like hold back and I won't say whatever I'm feeling, right? So if the other person never confessed, then I'll just like, oh, I'll just take it as this person don't like me. But right. do you think that like someone has gotten away because you didn't make the first move? Ooh. I think yes. <laughs> like when I was younger, mm. like I really like this guy okay but then i keep keep it inside then i play the game of like being like a a very good friend to the person i think we were friends already but then my intention from the start like a bit was hindered by like i have a crush on him but i just never say lah but then um we were friends for quite long then i feel like um 
because eventually right he found he thought like someone at his school at another school quite chill then I was like Actually, I was like a bit jealous, but then I just like, oh, go ask her out lah. Go, go, oh, how was she? That kind of thing. Then in the end, they get together. <gasps> oh then my I was God. That's sad because I didn't get to like say how I feel about the person. But then eventually when they broke up, right, then he a bit like sad. So I like co- comfort him. But, oh, but, she stuck through the oh whole thing. God. No, but at that point of time, right, I a bit like don't really like him already because oh. once someone is attached, right, to me, it's like you're dead. Like Good. Oh, you're I will dead. never be with this person. Good. So after that, he when he break up, I wasn't like, oh, wow, opportunity. I was just like, oh, that happened. Oh, too bad, oh, that kind of thing. Yeah. Then like one night when we were like oh. a bit like tipsy, tipsy. Yeah. then he say, uh, he like hold my hand and he say like oh, I really like you uh, whatever like, oh I, like I, I like you I wish like we can be together that kind of thing like yeah. I like you like he confessed to me so while he said the same thing three times la. <laughs> cause he drunk yeah. Yeah, you, basically it was, that it was 20 like minutes of this this okay. thing then I told him 15 I, minutes yeah no but then cause he said that right mm. then I'm forced to confess to him also uh, so I said like forced. I like you last time <gasps> but not now oh <gasps> He misses his She's giving Guan He and Ha Jong. Yes, yeah. yes. No, Confession then, eh, not depression. Eh. <laughs> like, oh, why you no, heard then, it? Anyway, I confess already, right? Then the next day, right? Because uh, like when everyone is sobered up, then he tell me like, uh, uh, forget everything I said yesterday. <gasps> then like- Guan He, uh, pussy. <laughs> no, then I was like, what the hell? Like it just, as in, I felt like it was a bit like, um, cause I think right that is his true feeling, mm. but then he because I said no right, then he yeah. decide to just erase it all lah. Mm. Cause he said he wasn't thinking thinking clearly last night. Mm. But then last night right before I went home ah, I saw him building a deck of cards. It was quite high, you know. You put the cards like that. Yeah. So it was so big. How can you not think clearly when you've been building it like that? It's like a perfect like. Yeah, I suppose also yeah. cannot. Different brain functions get affected yeah. differently by alcohol. You must understand. No, yeah. but I also feel like when you're drunk, you're more likely <laughs> to a say the truth. You're more likely to say the truth yeah. when you're drunk. Yeah, yeah. So I, I just felt like it was a bit like. Um, set how things play out because in the end the confession was number one when it was tipsy and then number two I'm forced to yeah. confess Hi. but I think if I ever get to meet that person again right I'll probably like want to ask about it just for curiosity oh you're sake. not talking anymore yeah. no lah cause after that right mm. we never talk so at ago. all as in we are still like maybe we mutual, mutual Instagram friends, friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah no but if I were the guy right I also want to like crawl into a hole but we'll talk about the rejection <laughs> part later yeah. so, no but I think going back to the point about the niche right like can you go on a date like and not have confessed I think so because it really depends at what stage in your life you've gone out with this person I think when it's very young that time and you don't really have the means to like just say hey let's go out or like hang out or whatever you might be more likely to say I like you first see how it is then after go out Ooh. but I think in more adult relationships like you're more likely to just say hey do you want to get like coffee or do you want to go for me hey like, I take I, I, hey, I, there's this damn nice place you want to come with me no but you will call that a date it could be if it's one Yeah, on one. because a date is getting to know somebody, ma. And yeah. you don't know how long Aww. you have spoken to each other, like via text or whatever, on calls or whatever, before you even met. Yeah. Right. Or like if you might have met someone at work, for example, you only see their work character, ma. You haven't seen them outside work. So you want to take them out into that situation and see whether your feelings for them correct or not. Correct. No, no. but how do you know it's like a date date? Yeah. Or like just hang out. No, What's like, the difference? No, I feel like this is why, right? A lot of guys and girls, or actually couples, when you ask them when was their first date, right? They will have a different answer. Yeah. Because either like the guy or the girl, they will feel like this very first time they went out was counted as a date already. Yeah. But then the guy's like, ah, no, we're just getting to know each other, ma. Which is a date. Which brings me back to the question. Yeah. What's the difference? No, like sometimes you go out with people, but as in like one, one on, on one, one with the preferred gender, right? Mm-hmm. And then like sometimes you like, eh, why this person asked me out? Mm. Like why are we suddenly hanging one on one? Then right. you think like, is it a date or is it not? But you don't know. Cause after that, right? Maybe you got no follow up or just like, mm. like just y'all never connect and then it just ends off, right? But Wait, then- but who the hell is this person? Is your friend? Yeah, la, like you're just a friend. Just then then somehow the person asks you out, then you're like, oh, okay, go out. La. But then like, when you think back, like, is it this person interested in me or what? Like, right. if, if not, why? Yeah, like you together? say now I'm single, right? Like if. Then after that, like you I go ask, ask, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I ask you. Uh-huh. So then like, do you just take that as a date? No one. Uh. No, no, I think, I think whether it's a date or not, right? Constitutes the outcome. Like, like it's based on the outcome no, at the end of the day. Yeah. Like, like, are we still holding hands? I think it's retrospective. <laughs> no, it's in, in the intention. What, what's the intention? No, but so yeah. only one person is clear about the intention. No, so that's why what I do is I ask. 
Is this a date? Is this a date? Oh. Wow. Oh. Wait, that makes things awkward. Don't do yeah, that. Yeah, the guy is, is so forced to call. That's how opening the door to the confession. No, no it's I great. think it's, it's clear. Great. Yeah, no? it's, I think it's you can true. ask it in a playful way. Yeah, I did. So, yeah. you know, but the thing is that, right, I'm scared, right, because if, if I'm not interested of romantically in this yeah, person, yeah. right? Then he might, if I ask in a playful way, he might think that I'm flirting with him. So even, even if the guy say no, <laughs> even if the guy say no, oh, but you're still going oh, okay. No, if the guy say no, mm. but you're still go out one on one. Mm. Yeah. In the back of your head, is it not, <laughs> is it no not way. still a kind of like a vibing thing? No, but I feel like some people mm. don't but say it's a date, right? Mm. Cause in case the person don't like oh, you, yeah. uh, then they scared they reject ma. So they just go out first. It's then maybe safety. the person like change your mind about the person on the date ma. Yeah, cause after I think- that, then you. But most of the time when I ask, they just say, yes, it's a date. <laughs> then I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay we try. Okay, oh, I feel like right. girl. Maybe that's why my girl. definition might slightly differ, although we established it earlier. But to me, it's like the confession then must have the reaction. So once you confirm that, okay, you're both like each other, then the date happens. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And it's not the one person uh, realize that they like and then they want to explore. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I think I understand what's the problem here already. Okay, okay, let's go. The problem here is that the context is missing. Is it you're writing the, the context? Or when the context <laughs> is established, <laughs> the follow up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think the context is missing because um, when you are talking to each other, mm. I feel like even if you are friends first or whatever, right, there is still that extra something, something. Mm, yeah. There is mm. that slight flirtation, there's mm. that playfulness, which then gives you the hint that maybe this motherfucker got something, something for me. Mm. And then mm. likewise, right, obviously you all both know whether you're single or not. So, right? And so when that, when that playfulness comes in with the Hey, when you, you free on this week and you want to go to this thing with me or not, then mm. like, hey, it's, it's a date. Ah. Like that jokingness, right? Mm. Is also a good way to test. But at the same time, you all both know what's up already. Yeah. And so when you give the clear answer, right, mm. then I think it's fine. If if it's confusing for both, yeah. then I think right, you are not communicating properly at all. Yeah. Which mm. is not a good thing. But it's a lot of people's thing. Yeah, it's my thing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but are you, you see, no. right, then is it you choosing to ignore the actual signs that are there? No, like I really don't, I don't know. Okay, I don't know whether it's my problem mm. or like it's just no comment. Because I, I feel like when I go out with someone, right? I always think of it as like platonically, ma, mm. unless someone say otherwise. But then because I feel so platonic about the, everything, the friendship or mm. relationship that we have with each other, right? So there was one time I went out with a friend mm. who I really think is a friend. Then we like go one one, go eat, have a nice time, then go home. Then I remember at the end, right? A bit like, I felt like the conversation a bit flirty during the thing. Then I was like, why is it so like, mm. not normal? Like it's not our usual, like how what we talk to each other. Or like it's too say, close. To the no, like maybe some, some how questions. How long are your cubes? <laughs> oh, I know. I don't like, know. This how you shave. Like, this is huh? how you <laughs> Oh my God. Like something that just came to mind was just how amazing you look right now. Like suddenly. No lie. What is that? Is that? Oh. Oh. question not better than that? <laughs> I rather, no, no, I'm saying I rather ask about suddenly, pubes. No, <laughs> no, for like, me to suddenly be flirty. No, la, no, no. Like, no, like suddenly like, eh, hey, what's your ideal type? Then it's like, then oh, I was like, why you ask flirty. her? No, but in my mind, it's like, hey, why he asks these kind of questions? Ma? Like, right. we don't really talk about this usually. So and if it's for a while, then he suddenly asks. Okay. What do you mean by you're friends for a while? Oh. Because maybe, right, you say you're friends, but you actually never hang out together alone before. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and it, then it was blah, blah, that. Blah. It was that. So I thought like, oh, okay, let's like hang out together. Because we are so friends already, right? Then I think like, okay, wh why not just hang out one-on-one? -on -one? Because to me, it's like nothing. Ma. Then after the whole thing, then suddenly when I we going home and we texting, right? Then I was like asking like, so what was, why are you laughing? Share the joke with the class. <laughs> 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 no, then in the end, we share like, oh, it was a really nice time with you. Then I was like, oh, okay. Then suddenly, somehow, he confessed that this was actually, he was actually very nervous. Then I was like, why are you nervous? Like, I know we never hang one-on-one, -on -one, but why are you nervous? Man? We really very chill and like very bro sis that kind of vibe. Oh. Then he said like, oh, I, I, I had to like, ask my friends like what to wear, everything, like choosing the place. Then I was like, huh, why? It's not, a, it's a date man. Like, then he said, yeah. Then I was like, huh? Oh it's a God. date. Then he confessed like, he thinks like I'm someone he uh, don't mind exploring <laughs> with. Not not that he want to be together with me, but mm -hmm. it's like, curious he about. just curious and then he want to like go on a date to see how we vibe and everything. Mm -hmm. So, okay. prior to that, you all got hang out one on one before? No. Already? No. Uh, for, okay, so people, this is the first lesson. Huh? That is already an indication. Mm. <laughs> Both no, of your single, friend don't care, whatever. You never hang out one on one before? Ah. Uh, this is already a ping. Love advice. Should I check? 
should I check? Mm. So this is when Shum's advice comes into play straight away. Mm. Is it a date? <laughs> Uh, then, mm. then you can figure out because at the point he cannot don't tell you what yeah. if he don't tell you then he's keeping shit from you already eh? True. and oh, second, oh. second is uh-huh. his friends advise the fashion so in the end he dressed nice <laughs> <laughs> it's okay not bad okay, uh. not bad not bad okay, okay. no okay so the usual if the guy like you right I think the response to is this a date is gonna be why do you want it to be a date Oh, I think that would be the is, likely response. Okay, right? Yeah. Ooh. Then, <laughs> then <laughs> Must be playful. One of the things that I really don't like is that Singaporean most of the time not playful. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then your text, you talk, uh, this kind of thing, right? Then like, wow. Uh, is it a date? Yeah, yeah, no. Yes, no. Then that's it already. <laughs> You're dead texting all of so them. Bore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 like, so boring. But then like, yeah, if you yeah. message back like that, then both of you are kind of like vibing, vibing. Uh, also can, right? The playfulness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, no, but I feel like, right, you can only get to that level. Like for her, right, she got no stakes in this. Mm. So she can afford to like playfully ask, is it a date? Yeah. But for a guy who says like shums, right, to reply back, right, why do you want it to be a date? It's like his version of uh, all in already at that point because it takes a lot of balls. yeah mm. no because if you're not confident right you are put by you saying that right it's a make or break eh? but yeah. I will just reply no I just want to stroke your pussy then it'll be funny again <laughs> then it goes back and forth right? that only is funny if the person is a cat or a vagina <laughs> 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 this all explains so much girl. no 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 but <laughs> It's harassment or- <laughs> Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. We'll talk about flirting in another episode. Okay, back to confession. How you know she, you she like, like you? Like what uh, made you sure? No, no but there's a, few, there's a few things that you like, like mm. can come in place of that. So like, for example, mm. there's certain things you do when you hang out, right? Like for mm-hmm. example, you keep paying and like you won't do that for just a friend, right? And then like, for example, she lives far away, then you decide that I'm going to send you back. Like you see with her in the grab and then mm. she also realized. So then, then her way is like in the grab, she also sit like right next to you and rub her shoulder. Then you're like, Oh, wow, this is this is quite show. Then you both kind of know anyone. Like, yeah, if anybody sit at the middle seat, uh, it's done. Right? It's done. <laughs> it's done, bro. You can get married. Yeah, yeah. 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 No need yeah. to yeah. The, the uncle also know. <laughs> that is the trick. I realize. I realize the ones oh. that I never confess, right? I will be like, hey, like, uh, let me send you back. I will always open the door so she can go in first mm. and I see whether she sit all the way at the end or she sit in the middle seat. I always sit all the way at the end. Eh. Yeah, I thought nobody likes sit me. Yeah, it's comfortable. No, but if she sit in the middle, you know she give you only one place to sit, which is the seat right next to her. Checkmate, bro. <laughs> bro, it oh is my God. done. <laughs> but I got motion sickness, so I just... <laughs> I think she break a lot of guys' hearts. Right? She confused a lot of men also. I don't have any. I don't have a lot of going so well, but she said that last year. <laughs> no, the guy open, then she goes to in front. <laughs> I, I think I got it before. No, honestly, right, soft confession could also look like that in a restaurant. Uh-huh. Where instead of sitting opposite you, they choose to sit next to you. Wow. Uh-huh. That is clearly like, a, I like you already, right? Like, it's I true. want to be closer to but you But I like physically. to sit opposite it's because true. it's easier to talk to that person. Same. But I'm saying it could be a move. Yeah, mm. maybe she <laughs> don't want to talk. Maybe she want to do something else. Sit next to you. <laughs> sit, you know? Uh, oh, yeah. shit. Oh, no, okay, shit. but how do okay. I know? Okay, what is a sign that I am reading too much into things? Because... I can take little, little things like that, right? And then string them all together into a giant, she loves me. Mm. But that could, I could also be the Lulu. Yeah, so, what are the clear signs? That, that is not uh, a date. Or oh, is it not a confession? She doesn't like it. Clear you. sign that is not a date. Okay, mm. from the internet, right? Supposedly, right? If you go out with somebody and the girl insists on, on going Dutch, oh. Mm. Then it's done. Yes. How huh, is no, that? No, but what if I'm no, at the if stage you insist, where yeah, like she cannot stop. Dutch, oh. Dutch not meaning like I pay for dinner, you pay for dessert. Mm. Yeah, you know? Dutch I meaning myself. dinner. Ah, uh, yeah, this is divided by one, two. Uh, mm. And she's like five times ninety. You're like no, no, I'll pay. Then she's like no, Dutch, and it happens like way too long already. Uh, Whoa, no, that sounds a bit <laughs> personal. <laughs> Waste times, <so. laughs> yeah. And money. Oh, well, save money. Save money. I always do that though. Mm, I tell you already, you're confusing all the guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I seen I think he like, how huh? you pay for me for what? Like, see, the, the best way to do it, if you really like the, the guy, it's like what John said, okay, fine, you pay this one, but I'm getting dessert, I'm getting coffee later. Okay, yeah. I get it. You, I plan, say that. you, you plan this day, I have, I will plan the next one. Yeah. Are you oh, good? <laughs> Okay la, I see you again la. <laughs> okay, wait, but too much from this No, but what if the guy don't like her? Then the guy don't want pay, then time for check, then the guy yeah. never say anything. <laughs> That's a sign that he don't oh. like you. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay, so get <laughs> f***ing in la. <laughs> the other thing right, is the post date message. Cause after you go out right, mm. there will always be, oh my God, that was such a fun time. There's like, a post date message. Hope to ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. see you again. <laughs> wow, Gigi, Denise. Have fun, must fun. Post date. 
immediately. Oh, my God, oh, oh, depends. On the way home, no. you text really. Oh, immediately no. a bit desperate. So sometimes you get home. Two hours. <laughs> <laughs> you get home and shower then. Yeah. So you must see how the person <laughs> responds. So whether they got sent a text, because it might be from the guy or the girl, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. how that person responds. <laughs> if it was like, yeah, it was cool. Then so, so all these are soft confessions, right? Mm. Their techniques are called soft confession where it's like, not. I'm not going to outrightly say I like you. Yeah. But hey, about mm. um, using physical touch. Is there a, yes. a move in which like y'all can do to like kind of show that you like? Like for example, right, if you're walking together, like, okay, say you'll meet first date, makan, but you don't really know, ma, no, she say, uh, don't confess at the beginning, right? So, okay. Mm. So we take that already. But then right, when y'all go to the next location or whatever, then there's a little bit of like a touchy touchy or like the girl walk very near to you, that kind of thing. Is that indicator is that physical confession no okay then what is please no, explain no no I think me. it's little things so like for mm. example if you're going out with a girl right, and then it's a mall so maybe like you're waiting for dinner then you go shopping first or after dinner you're just walking around it's like oh my god I want to look at this place right the thing that she might do is that instead of just going hey I'm going to go here she will be like hey like just a little like brush like her hey I'm uh, okay here. oh my god <laughs> are, you go. right? are you no, a girl are you a girl it's always right it's always touching like the left so like like ooh, wait no left, right, right. Right, uh, yeah, whichever, like, doesn't mm. matter. Like, I remember um, after a, a date, no, yeah, I mean, it's I don't know if it's a date. No, no, no it's must like grab a, the arm. No, that means G. This yeah. one is just like, I put my friends like a, also. It's just like a I little know. touch. Like, it's okay, just, it's there. I cannot lie to you. It's like you try to guide his arm towards your direction. Like. Yeah, oh my. So it's like, like this. But yeah, because it's like it's like trying to play like a oh, hubby kind of like you know vibe you know it's uh, just like a, like, oh, like if you go to Ikea yeah 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 but on the first date I don't get know get into the we... bathroom with me maybe oh that's like five days <laughs> or summer but it's like it's like not long enough that she's holding you like this it's yeah. like just a brush yeah like a nudge to lead you in a nudge in a dumb uh, nudge as a guy right you will feel that touch for like at least an hour like that touch will just play in your head like oh my god that was damn cool that was that was damn amazing. <laughs> Like I remember there was one girl that I, I we had lunch and I don't know if it's a date. I don't know if it was a date for her, but after the lunch, we parted and then before we said goodbye, it, it wasn't a point where we hugged or kissed because it's that way. So she just like did like see you and then she just rubbed this right. And that whole week I was just like, oh, Cannot be. I'm not washing this <laughs> yeah. wow, vacuum that, suit. That felt <laughs> damn. And someone she like she looked in your eye and go like that was a great time. And I was just like, oh my god. Oui. Uh, okay. wow. Ladies, please Ladies, explain sorry. from your perspective. We perspective. We that's that's the man's interpretation of this whole thing. And how we feel about it, or how he feels about it, mm. from your end. Yes, Sherms. I think very accurate though. Like, <sighs> like I'm trying to see if, if I say this right, will it affect my reputation? Mm. Uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> what reputation? <laughs> no, I think right. I'm quite good with flirting and building sexual tension. <gasps> like, with wow, guys. So I know and you should be proud of that. Yeah, it's a skill. <laughs> True. Like I know, especially guys, I can tell whether you like me or you just shy. Oh, when I talk shy. to the person, right, my whole body, <laughs> my my whole non verbal cue, right, is gonna like face you and only look at you directly, that kind. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then talk to you, and then like really give you my attention, right. And then the whole hand thing, that that, that this thing, I also do. Hmm. Wow. Give us more. Give us more. Science, a girl wants you to know, wants like, you to confess. Yeah, she's off the market now, so she can share all of these things. How do I give the guy the, the environment or the, the space for them to encourage them to confess to me, right? Mm. Is, is the Breach their personal space. Ah. As <laughs> everything you've described so far. <laughs> but it's also in the text also, conversations. Uh. I will say things like, uh, I get on my knees for you, that kind of thing. No, thing. like, hey, <laughs> well, you're gone for the whole week, are you MC or whatever, like school maybe? Then I'll just say, oh, you miss me or not? That kind of thing. Like, I'll just say jokingly, so there's always an out for me. So if they, like, not interested, like, they will just say uh, something else. I'm like, yeah, joking lah. But at the time I reach that conversation, right, it means I know that person has some interest towards me already. So it's really playful flirting. Yeah. And being a bit more forward. Or, or at least, like, just being more communicative of it lah. Mm. Right, because most most girls don't. I'm assuming. Yeah, most girls don't, right? Yeah, don't what? Is it an Asian thing? Don't like they are not very their, forward, or yeah. they don't show like affection oh. in that aspect. Uh, I mm. me yo. which which keeps the guy guessing like, a lot of the times, right? There's case of my ex, right? The first time I've seen him, I thought he was quite cute. The same night we went for drinks, right? I immediately just went up to him and say, "Do you have a girlfriend?" <laughs> so ever since then, he was. I knew he was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was gonna confess one way or another. Oh, yeah. So that was crazy. how I confessed. Does it means I confess first, right? By yeah. asking, are you single? That's you confessing is what you're it's saying. Like I'm, I'm telling you that I'm yeah. showing interest. It's yeah. a layered form of in, uh, like inception. Uh, 
Yeah. It's an inception. Yeah. It's, it's really, like direct, but actually smart. not direct because you never say whether- Correct. You just plant the idea in their head. You've given yourself an out, which is mm. really, very interesting. I'm wow. thinking about it now. Are you? Or now you know I'm thinking about it. What are you going to do with it? Yeah. Naughty, naughty. Yeah. No, but I think the risk, right, is that- <laughs> As I'm thinking about it, right, like, I think my very brief experience with like playful girls, right, is that I don't know whether they are talking to multiple guys this exact same way. Mm. So, because maybe that's just how she no, is. No, but does that affect you wanting to confess though? Yes. Why? Oh. Because I feel like maybe she doesn't want to be in a relationship. Maybe she just likes to be playful or that I'm not the only one and if I confess, mm. she's probably going to reject me because she's got other suitors. So what do you do? Um, so if she's like, she's just someone you just text flirt with law. Like, you like, like her lah? Yeah. Then, then I'm in like win her mode. Compet- competition, competition mode Competition mode. Then you're like, okay, who else is out there? Or, oh, that guy cannot win already. <laughs> but mm-hmm. do you bring it up to her? Are you trying to make it exclusive in that situation? Or is it no, like, no. you realize that so you are just like, ah, never mind, I don't want to play this game. In, in, at, least, at least in the past for me, it was always just work on myself and like, not, not really sell myself, but make sure that I am the best candidate possible. So like, I'll do random thing. I'll write a song. La, I would like, do this, do that. Yeah, but, but isn't that a little bit frustrating because of the fact that you're going to do all this. Yeah. I'm assuming you are the one that's not talking to other people. No. You're only talking to this person. At least that one experience, no. She she was, I think in the end, was talking to like two other guys at the same so, time. Yeah. So in that situation, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, I, it does sound reasonable to, to feel and question those things, right? Yeah. But are you, like even though you're putting in that, that extra effort, right? Is it reciprocated? Or do you feel like it's like very, it slowly grows to become very too one-sided. I think it depends like how much time and like effort you're willing to put in. I think at that point of time, to me, it wasn't so much about getting into a relationship. It was like, okay, I think she's someone that I kind of want to win over. And mm-hmm. so I felt like, not, not so much to objectify like she was a prize or anything like that, but I think I, I liked her enough that I wanted to see whether I could beat the other guys to it. Mm-hmm. And so then it became almost <clears throat> a, an addictive like thing to try and chase for a while. I feel like I still don't know how to see whether someone likes me or not. Like all these signs, right? It feels like it's everywhere. But as I was listening to you and thinking about it, right? Mm. I think it boils down to effort. So if you put on the effort first and you end that person reciprocate, right? Mm. Whatever effort, maybe replying you ASAP, mm. that kind, right? Then it gives me the green light. I feel like, eh, maybe this person is interested in me. Mm. Then maybe you guys can start planning your dates and yeah. confession. Mm. But I think it's also yeah. a, a both sides thing. Cause for mm. example, even ASAP, right? Maybe for me, ASAP is one hour. Yeah. Maybe to someone else, ASAP is I can imi- I see a text, I'll immediately yeah. respond kind. Yeah. So you must yeah. see other other things. Yeah. Yeah. Just text. No, yeah. but also for correct. you, if you know that you are taking, how to say, like the person wherever you text them, they immediately reply already, right? Then you take a while to reply. But you really like this person, you want them to know. Mm. You need to in a sense, explain or disclaimer it early enough. I'm so sorry, I was so busy. Yeah, or yeah. like, AI terrible texter, okay, that kind. So you Why let don't we hang know. out instead? I feel like I'm a terrible mm. texter is a, is, is- Excuse. A, is some, something someone who doesn't like you says to reply you slow. Oh, disagree. Really? No, you must oh, reply I, them well, but then say, hey, I think I'm a terrible texter. Because I feel like the, the, <laughs> like the people who have told me that, that they are terrible texters, right? When I do hang out with them, they're constantly texting. I, oh, okay. No, that's true, that's true. I have a lot of friends like that. <laughs> yeah, and so then you're like, wait a minute. Like, mm. you're telling me you're a terrible texter or like, oh, you know, you're not really blind, but then you're blind, blind, blind. No, but sometimes it's really like a series of unfortunate events. I was really very, very busy. I yeah, cannot reply yeah, this person, yeah. right? But I'm interested in him. Mm. So what I do is uh, when I'm free, the minute I'm free, right? I will compensate on the missing messages. Right. I'll, send him, <laughs> I'll send him video bubbles of me. Hey, I'm doing this now. Oh. I'm so sorry, I can't text you. Yeah. You know, video bubbles are great. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, what, is, what is that? Tele bubbles. The circle thing on, uh, on yeah. Telegram. Oh. At one point, WhatsApp also have, but not no oh. more. I just learned how to make it disappear. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the, the disappearing, like the- Yeah. yeah. Mm. I just learned how Why to make it- Why would you use that function? <laughs> no, because- <laughs> No, because okay. I saw some- <laughs> Okay, we're spectacular. One time only, see one time only. Wait, but I want to say, my trouble is, right, it doesn't even get to the stage where we go for the first date and then we can tell based on whether or not she want to go Dutch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what about for all those people that will not initiate this date unless until. yeah they feel like, okay, this girl really like might like me. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Until, until like I know I'm that the girl very, like me. Yeah, if I'm not I very initiate. sure the girl like me, I will not even dare to initiate the one-on-one okay. like dinner or what. Mm, 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 then what are you going to do? 
That's my question. La. That's what, like, no, as in, you're just going to keep texting. Have you been flirting? Or like, what's the conversation like? Then, right, you need and, group outing. Uh, and, no, 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 no. You cannot. Uh, because, right, today's day and age, a lot of people already fish in the same pond already, done already, dried already. Oh, they are true. like online dating, they're meeting Module. strangers. Oh, and oh, oh wow, wow. No, yeah, that's why I, I think, right, that's the benefit of like online dating. Because mm. yeah. it's very clear when you're on, okay, unless you like only think Tai Fong, which is the. Uh, you are swiping. Uh, then you are swiping just to uh, down to. No, there's the, also the other kind that only apparently are only on the app just to find friends. Yeah, no, but, no, 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 but I think there's a difference because you could be swiping, <laughs> but how do I know that you like me enough to go out or yeah. and are ready for a date or if you mm. want to talk talk a bit, text a bit more, call a bit more, whatever. No, but I think it's more clear if you go on a date, right, from some of the app, it's quite clear that it's already somehow got some intention already. It's not like totally going blind. Mm. Of course, mm. of course. So the yeah. expectation that you will be maybe dating, date, yeah, yeah. it's already there. Ma. Yeah, but I think there's a window that's missing which is that even though both of you swipe you still need to have that conversation to see whether mm. got a bit of vibe or chemistry mm. so that at that point then you will really be able to tell that okay am I interested yeah do I need to s establish that then before I go on a date or is it just a if I'm if I feel like okay maybe let's go on a date then I just straight away ask really Mm. I think going back to context, right? I think it also depends the context of your life. Like I think when you're twenties, in your twenties, right, and then the boy girl also both in their twenties, I feel like you have more time to like figure things out. So that confession, not confession thing also doesn't really matter. But when it's two people who in are in their thirties, mid thirties, they are saying like, Hey, do you wanna hang out like one on one? You kinda know that this is about finding your life partner already. Especially mm. if it's from the app. La, like a dating yeah, app. But yeah. I think maybe her situation is maybe, her example is like maybe a group of friends. Okay. Then you all know each other. Then <gasps> then how? There's, there's no, how do I, how does she set the intention that I actually- No, how I even know that this person yeah. like me enough, right? For me to go and like make a move. Cause if not, right, then I become the weird one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like it become, it, what the oh. heck? Like, you know, not they so try to ask me out, yeah. Okay. Good thing that you are friends first. So then you all know that joking, joking, you are friends, right? You should flirt a bit and see whether that no, person like how, Say example, imagine the viewer here or whoever has yeah. no game one. Uh. Yeah. Like even if the girl tried to drop him, then he might not get it kind. Uh. Yeah, he like that. He uh. Uh. <laughs> I think you got to find situations. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you have to find natural situations, right? For it to just be the two of you guys. So like mm. next time there's an outing with like the six of you guys me, or five you guys, right? Me, me, first. you know that maybe mm. that person either lives close to you or maybe like likes the same thing as you, like maybe mm. like certain toys or whatever, right? Then go like, hey, before we hang out, do you want to check out this store? Or like, oh, hey, so you want to go together? Yeah. We take MRT together, go that So place. there's a re creating reasons la, for you to hang out. Engineering ah, solo moments. You have an out. You have a, no, yeah. la, it was really just to, I know you like this kind of toy, so I, I also want to see. Mm. So agree, ladies? No, I said, mine is more, I said, my experience is more direct one. Uh -huh. So last time, it's also in a group of friends. I know I have a crush on this person and then I'm not sure if the person had a crush on me. So mm. I never say anything. Then one day where we all sit there at a group, I was like, a bit sick, like I got so throat. Then suddenly this, guy he he go away he go like buy some like you know those herbal tea mm. oh my God. then at the table he push the tea towards me across the table so everyone can see the herbal tea like going towards Whoa, me right so oh. so and he, cool. then he was like oh of course you sick Whoa, oh. he's such a good he he oh. got gay no, that he I, remember, got I was like huh like i then like sh I say la. okay this is the toxic ex also but at that point of time i was like eh like what about I didn't know. Then now I know. Yeah. Now, now I know got some so, intention. Respect and I mean not your toxicness, <laughs> but I got another off. move. I got okay. another move. Uh, okay. oh. You it slap her back. Friend group, right? Oh. Friend group, right? Uh. I will obviously like pull her aside, like we will be like one on one kind of situation. <laughs> A bit more intimate, right? Mm. Then I will ask her, so who in the group is closest to your type? Ayo! <laughs> no, this then, really, oh my God, isn't that why? No, this kind must she, pull her aside, one, uh. huh? Cannot pull, say in a group. No, like, you know, true for there, then you ask. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Right. Actually, for actually, actually, group setting sure, but one on one also, I think. Okay, okay, okay. Like you know, then it gives her the opportunity to really like. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I feel like guys like to ask that uh, Who's your type? Then see whether but they. It, it works because nobody needs to be too upfront. It's no, okay to say that uh, this person is my type, ma. Where it might be very confusing is that she might like you, but she don't want everybody to know, so she will purposely not say you. That's why I do. I prefer not to be group. Uh, uh, huh? Or you like ask when alone? Only. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Okay. The worst thing to do is. Say, Shukshak Mary and then he you. <laughs> no, but it's a clear indication. It's a clear indication. Wow, Rafa is a DJ. Stupid. So these were our confessions. What are yours? 
leave them in the comments down below. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Adios. Like, share, subscribe. To all the Spanish uh, <laughs> We don't have- Adios, so muchachos. She was like, at that time, just like super shy about like all this- Super shy, super shy. shy. Super super shy. shy. Like, uh, all, like super shy about like anything to do with love or whatever and like all this like dating. I think we were like at least 14 or 15-ish. <laughs> I'm so, disgusted with myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> but go on. Come on, you did that. <laughs>